voters list can be updated and used for free and fair elections, says Chief Elections Officer. Chief Elections Officer says the current voters list is bloated, is claimed by the government. Chief Justice reaffirms general elections must be held by September 18. Chicken price increases as shortage hits local market. And in sport, Ghana wicketkeeper batsman Anthony Bramble gets made in West Indies call up for T20 home series against India. These and more coming up after the break. Stay with us. Let FiberTech help you to renovate, refresh, and redecorate your kitchen. Spice up your kitchen with decorative colors, finishes, and accessories. Choose from an array of designs and beautiful granite colors that are blended to suit your choice. FiberTech Lifetime Kitchen is durable, thermites free, and water resistant. Enjoy one year factory warranty along with our after sale service. So come on in and let us help you choose wisely. Did you know almost one-third of deaths in Guyana are heart-related? Chronic inflammation is the root cause of atherosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol-clogged arteries. You can now lower high triglyceride levels with Omega XL and reduce the dangerous inflammation that causes these problems. So to ensure a healthy heart and reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Introducing the new Softex Toilet Tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The choice is clear. Two Softex Toilet Tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. Your one-stop decor solution for gala dinners, weddings, birthdays, cocktail functions, backdrops, props, and more. Check out exclusive decor design, ground floor, city mall. We have a wide variety to suit your stylish seating and table decor, exclusive centerpieces, colorful marrow, and much more. Working with a small budget? No problem. We've got you covered. Call 225-4434 or 657-0166. We listen, we create, you enjoy. It happens. Your septic tank is full. All the waste from your toilet goes into your septic tank through the sewage line. When your tank is full, the two most common indicators are an overflowing tank and an overflowing toilet. It is recommended that Sivon's Waste Management empty your septic tank every two to three years to avoid any embarrassment. And before you can say, shh, it's gone. Call Sivan's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. Beyond all limits, being dependable means everything to Mac SA, a company founded in 1957. We produce the highest quality batteries, tailor-made to the needs of our clients. Extreme weather conditions. Mac is one of the leading brands in the world because we offer high performance solutions. Mac is number one in the manufacture of portable power products because we join world-class products with world-class service. Batteries produced by Mac are superior products thanks to the technology employed in their design and the use of the highest quality materials, calcium reinforced with silver. More than 60% of the vehicles assembled in the Andean region for Japanese, American, and European car makers use our batteries. Mac means world-class products, excellent customer service, Mac batteries, world-class energy. The power is yours. 
Are you building or renovating? Then Gafwis is the place to shop for all your construction needs. Our flatback department has a wide range of doors, including wooden doors in pine, purple heart, crabwood, bifold, arch, full and half French, fiberglass garage doors, and Mexin steel doors. Our Mexin doors are durable, and they're available in a wide range of designs. For safety, our doors include 12 locks, viewers, buzzers, and frames. For your kitchen, we have a wide range of elegant and durable quartz, granite and laminated countertops, and cabinet doors. You'll find laminated bamboo and PVC flooring to suit your style and decor while upgrading the entire look and feel of any room. Then choose from our wide selection of PVC ceiling panels, ceiling tiles, moldings, and rosettes. Also built in our flat pack department is sheeting for interior and exterior use, such as plywood, gypsum board, cement board, and MDF board. So come on down to Gafu's flat pack department for your construction and finishing needs, and Miss Camlo will assist you to select products for your total satisfaction. Gafu's, the name you can trust. Get your documents ready to be registered. Are you eligible to be registered during GCOM's house-to-house -house registration exercise? Then you must have either a birth certificate, a valid passport, naturalization certificate or certificate of registration, adoption certificate. Married women may also be asked to present their marriage certificate. Individuals who had a name change, which is not stated on their birth certificate, must present a deed poll along with their original birth certificate. Get your documents ready now and prepare to be registered. If you were previously registered, you will need to be registered again. Be on the lookout. It is your right. Make it your responsibility. For more information, contact GCOM on 2250-27729 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact your nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website www.gcom.org.gy. Good evening and welcome to this, our Tuesday, July 23, 2019 edition of News Update. I'm Sandy Ramutar, our top story this evening. Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield says the current voters list, if updated, can be used to hold the credible elections by September 18. Lowenfield speaking outside the Supreme Court today also dismissed as speculative the caretaker government's claim that the current list is bloated. If he claims an objection exercise is to be used, then that will form the basis of a preliminary list for a claims and objections to be held claims and objections exercise to be held. Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield speaking to reporters outside the Supreme Court today. Lowenfield's comment is an admission that house-to-house -house registration is not necessary to update the current voters list in time for elections by September 18. This is exactly the argument that has been put forward by the Opposition People's Progressive Party and several other stakeholders that a period of claims and objections is adequate to update the current list. A claims and objections period is an opportunity for persons to be registered, effect name change as well as transfers from one electoral area to another. It also allows the persons to object to the names of others with valid reasons. Meanwhile, the Chief Elections Officer has dismissed the caretaker government's claim that the current voters list is bloated. We have lists. You are saying you are fixing bloat to the list. I'm not. And, and therein lies my problem. You are saying my list is bloated. Is it? And, and I'm saying to you, we have a list that was expired. There is a list that was expired as of April 30th. Was it bloated at the point of expiration? I, I cannot. The list as a third of April mm -hmm. was the list that was used for our election, for registration, etc. Bloat is not a word I'll affix can to it. So then can the list, if, if refreshed, so to speak, be used to conduct a free and fair election? That's correct. It always has and always will. His comments is a stark contrast to the argument that is being preferred by the caretaker government that the current list cannot be used even if updated through claims and objections. CARICOM Secretary General Orin LaRock says the regional body will not interfere in Guyana's affairs unless the judicial and democratic processes break down. Newsroom quoted LaRock as saying that he has been in touch with the president and opposition leader and has informed that CARICOM is prepared to assist if both parties ask for help. 
According to the website, the Secretary General noted that the Carbon Code of Justice was very clear when it said all actors concerned, the executive, the opposition and the GCOM, must play their part in resolving the issue. He said the chairman of CARICOM, the Prime Minister St. Lucia, has been briefed regularly on the issue. The CCJ had on July 12 declared by virtue of its June 18 ruling validating the passage of the December 21 confidence motion, the provisions of Article 1066 and 7 of the Constitution were triggered, namely the resignation of the Cabinet and new elections in three months. But many have been heaping criticisms on the regional bloc, headquartered in Guyana, for its silence ever since the passage of the No Confidence Motion back in December 2018. Many have been pointing out that CARICOM have been very vocal about the situation in Venezuela, but remains tight-lipped on the Ghana government's refusal to respect the ruling of the CCJ. As a matter of fact, earlier this month, it was Ambassador La Rock who told news update that CARICOM was awaiting the July 12 consequential orders of the CCJ before making any public statements. But it is already 11 days since the CCJ made those orders, and now the Secretary General has deviated from that position. Former Attorney General Anil Nandala will be submitting reading arguments to the High Court to show that the House to House registration process will collide with the time frame for holding elections by September 18. Chief Justice Roxanne George Welsher today told attorneys representing Charter the Accountant Christopher Ram that she was not convinced that the Elections Commission is not in a position to prepare for elections by September 18. Ram was seeking an order to prohibit the Ghana Elections Commission, Chief Elections Officer and or Commission of National Registration for conducting or continuing to conduct the current house-to-house -house registration process. The conservatory order was refused. Ram will be filing an application to the High Court to show that the House to House registration process will not meet the requirement to hold elections by September 18. The Guyana Bar Association was granted permission to be added as a party to the case and will be filing written submissions. Firstly, the Chief Justice made it very clear that her interpretation of the CCJ's judgments in the no confidence motion cases as well as the consequential orders made is that elections must be held by September the 18th, 2019. So that's very important. The Chief Justice said, I repeat, that her interpretation of the CCJ judgment, judgments is that election, elections must be held by September the 18th, 2019. However, at this stage of the proceedings, she did not find it fit to stop the exercise on the ground that she is not yet satisfied that the exercise commenced will prevent elections from being held on that date. As a result, she ordered a further affidavit to be filed by us to provide such evidence. Despite condemnation from the Opposition People's Progressive Party and the private sector, the Ghana Elections Commission has proceeded with the House to House registration process over the weekend. But whether or not the Elections Commission completes this exercise in time for September 18 latest, what the Chief Justice made clear is that based on the rulings and consequential orders of the Carbon Court of Justice, the Elections Commission must have a valid list in place to hold elections no later than September 18. A major shortage of supplies on the local market has been sending the price for chicken through the roof in recent weeks. But despite complaints from local vendors and producers, the Ghana Livestock Development Authority has been silent while Agriculture Minister Noel Holder says he's clueless about the shortage. In recent weeks, the price of chicken on the local market has increased from around $320 to around $440 per pound, representing an increase of about 31%. This increase, based on our investigations, is as a result of a shortage of locally supplied chicken on the market. We visited the Starbuck market today and spoke with several meat vendors. They all complained of having to cut their usual amount in purchased chicken from local farms by half due to the shortage. We're getting a little something to sell, so it's 
very hard right now. We're not getting the amount of buyers how we're supposed to get. We just barely get a Yeah, we're not getting any we're not getting the amount that we need. But we still just get a little bit from a farm that we just buy from. Every day we give us a little bit. We can afford. Uh, we let we wait for free because it's better than nothing. Right? But um there is a shortage. Like like three weeks now. You know? No, they just say it's a shortage. They didn't explain and say why. Three thirty a pound we paying for the chicken and we selling it for four hundred dollars. Right? Yesterday we didn't have any. So we didn't sell any yesterday. Right? Today we get a little and we don't know if we will get tomorrow. The vendors are hoping the situation improves soon as their customers' needs are their priority. While they do not know what exactly is behind the shortage, the vendors are pleading with the necessary authority to look into the situation at the soonest. I hope it clear up soon. Right? Because we still get a little, a little bit to, to sell, so at least we can't go for the little bit. When this newscast contacted Minister of Agriculture Noel Holder, he said he was clueless about the shortage, but promised to inquire and return a call. But up until the end of the work day, the minister has not responded. Meanwhile, the Office of the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Livestock Development Authority denied our request to speak with him. They said he was in his office, but we could not speak with him. Efforts to contact the Poultry Producers Association were also futile. There has also been a sharp increase in the price for eggs on the market. Reporting from TV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Greenlinius. An investigation continuing into the shooting to the death of a 28-year-old South Sophia Greater Georgetown resident. The police have arrested and are currently grilling two females in connection with the murder. I News Guyana reports. Terry Alt, a miner of Lot 63 Block A, South Sophia, was reportedly shot once to his neck at a pool party in the community in the wee hours of Sunday morning. The website quoted a dead man's father, George Alt, as saying his son left home to attend a pool party in the community, but is unsure what triggered the shooting incident. The elder Alt explained that after the shooting, his son was rushed to the Georgian Public Hospital, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. However, the senior Alt confirmed that two females were arrested and are being questioned in relation to the shooting. Still to come after the break, six-month jail for chicken teeth, and Ghana will keep a batsman Anthony Bramble gets a made in West Indies call up for T20 home series against India. These and more when we return. Stay with us. BM South Auto Sales presents Vehicle Leasing. Trade in, in with the old, out with the new. Low down payment deals as low as 500000 Duty-free deals for anyone with a duty-free concession. 5% cash back. Buy any vehicle cash and get 5% off instantly. Visit our showroom for more info or call 231-8451 or visit our Facebook page, BM South Auto Sales. Beeson Windows and Doors, fully equipped to handle all your commercial projects. Whether you're constructing a small or large commercial building, residential property, or just upgrading your home, they got you covered. Beeson Windows and Doors, providing unmatched quality windows for your home, office, and commercial building. Located at 1228 Eccles Industrial Site. For more information, call 662-4197 or 226-1292. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line starting as low as $10,000 for a single vision lens and $12,000 for a bifocal lens available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Hey, you have a growing flesh there, and there too, and there is another one. Those ugly and annoying growing flesh, like a plague, ignoring them, and before you know, you have them everywhere. SlimJet presenting Coliomac, the most effective growing flesh and wall remover. Painlessly remove ugly growing flesh is the quick and effective way. 
get soft, smooth, growing flesh-free skin, guarantee. Just apply Colomac twice a day and the growing flesh just dry up and fall off. Easy, quick and painless. It stop suffering and feeling embarrassed. Remove those ugly growing flesh with Colomac. Only at the Slim Jet, City Mall, second floor. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, Feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Champion whole wheat chow mein. It's 100% whole wheat. That's why it's my number one choice. As a mom, you want your kids to eat healthy. At any age, eating healthy is not an option, it's a must. What good is history if you never change? And what good is change if it doesn't make you better? At Valvoline, for the last 150 years, we've been doing just that. Relentlessly pursuing innovation for your engine. Backed up not just by science, but by the hands-on expertise that drives everything we do. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> this is amazing! I love your tile. Make an impression with the finest styles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various styles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our towels are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our locations to get the best in towels. Lens, our product, your creation. The Ghana Elections Commission will commence house-to-house -house registration in your area soon. You must register if you are a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization, or registration. 14 years and older by the 31st of October 2019, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the qualifying date. If you were previously registered, you will need to register again. Look out for GCOM. Make it your responsibility to get registered. For more information, contact GCOM on 225-0277-9 or 223-9653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy. Contact the nearest GCOM registration office or visit our website, www.gcom.org.gy. Welcome back. You're still with MTV's News Update. The Federation of Independent Trade Unions, who has been keenly monitoring the political developments, suspects that there is a clear ploy to obfuscate the Carbon Court of Justice decisions as the Elections Commission proceeds with House to House registration. The Federation of Independent Trade Unions has issued a call for the political leaders and the Elections Commission to adhere to the rulings of the Carbon Court of Justice. The union in a statement said the grounds for house-to-house -house registration remains unconvincing as it lacks credible justification. It said that the legitimacy of the decision is contentious as it was supported by the improperly appointed GCOM chairman. It is for this reason the union raised suspicion that it is a clear ploy to obfuscate the court's decision. The union warned that there should not be further delay for full and complete abidance with the ruling of the Carbon Court of Justice. FITEC represents the Ghana Agricultural and General Workers Union, the National Association of Agriculture, Commercial and Industrial Employees, the Clerical and Commercial Workers Union, and the Ghana Labour Union. 
Alert neighbors yesterday managed to save a 72-year-old grandmother from a fiery death to when her two-story, four-bedroom family home went up in flames. Reports are that about 13 25 hours, neighbors observed black smoke coming from the top floor of the building, led to 202 Middle Road La Penitent Church down, which was soon replaced by scorching flames. Hearing the screams of the elderly occupant Norma Clark, neighbors reportedly broke into the home and saved her in the nick of time since several sections of the entire top flat became totally engulfed with flames the moment they removed her. Sources said the badly shaken and traumatized woman was staked away to stay with relatives. According to eyewitnesses, two tenders from the Ghana Fire Service arrived shortly after and battled to save the structure, but some said the wooden house was somewhat old, thus it was quickly consumed. The woman's son, Sean Clark, an electrical contractor who was away on a job in the city, resides at the home with six other relatives. He said that they had lost millions of dollars in furniture, household and electrical appliances, and a very expensive stereo console amplifiers and many other items. A mother of four is now dead after she reportedly set her number 64 village quarantine Burby's home on fire while she was still inside. The community of number 64 village quarantine Burbies is now in shock after a 36-year-old mother of four reportedly set her house on fire and was burnt to death. The dead woman has been identified as Sabita Suknanan, also known as Tina. The woman's burnt remains were discovered on the veranda. Based on the police's initial investigation, Suknanan, prior to her death, had been imbibing alcohol. Inquiries disclosed about 1,600 hours, Suknanan reportedly set the upper flat of the house on fire and then shouted to neighbors to inform her spouse of what she did. The police have indicated that Suknanan, along with one of her four children, was home alone at the time of the incident. The 11-year-old child reportedly ran from the blazing house to inform her father, who was working down the street from where they lived, on what transpired. Sources revealed that two of the woman's children are living abroad. Later, inquiries would disclose the woman's husband as a saying he left her at home in good spirits about 1,300 hours. The matter remains under investigation. There are also reports that a woman attempted twice in the past to set the house on fire. Reporting from TV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. We tell you now that a Diamond Fire and General Insurance is now the newest of its kind on the Essex River Coast following its commissioning last Saturday. The Essex River Branch is a fifth location of this indigenous insurance company. The office is strategically established in a Barakat Mall in Annery, China, which makes it quite easy to provide its services and support of business activities within the Cinderella County. Regional Chairman David and Ramdad and Mayor of Anna Regina, Rabindranath Prabhulal, both welcome the establishment of the insurance company. The man who stole 170 pounds of chicken from popular barbecue spot Grill Kings was today handed a six-month sentence for the crime. 26-year-old Omala Dick, a washby attendant of Afield's Fire Greater Georgetown, was found guilty and sentenced in his absence by Magistrate Rondell Weaver after he failed to appear in the court for the ruling. Particulars of the charge say that on June 22 at Mandela Avenue, Georgetown, Dick stole 170 pounds of chicken valued $51,680, property of Royal Burkett. According to reports, Dick was employed by Burkett. Here is Selling Graffit with today's health tip. Cradle cap causes crusty or oily scaly patches on a baby's scalp. The condition is not painful or itchy, but it can cause thick white or yellow scales that are not easy to remove. Cradle cap is a common term for infantile seborrheic dermatitis. It is sometimes confused with another skin condition, atopic dermatitis. A major difference between these conditions is that atopic dermatitis usually causes significant itching. Cradle cap usually clears up on its own in weeks or a few months. However, if cradle cap persists or seems severe, your doctor may suggest a medicated shampoo, lotion, or other treatment. Symptoms Common signs of cradle cap include patchy scaling or thick crusts on the scalp, oily or dry skin covered with flaky white or yellow scales, skin flakes, possibly mild redness. Similar flaky white or yellow scales may also be present on the ears, eyelids, nose, and groin. Causes The cause of cradle cap is unknown. One contributing factor may be hormones that pass from the mother to the baby before birth. 
These hormones can cause too much production of oil or sebum in the oil glands and hair follicles. Another factor may be a yeast or fungus called Malassezia that grows in the sebum along with bacteria. Antifungal treatments such as ketoconazole are often effective if this is the case. Cradle cap is not contagious and is not caused by poor hygiene. Prevention Shampooing your baby's hair every few days can help prevent cradle cap. Stick with a mild baby shampoo unless your baby's doctor recommends something stronger. Treatment Cradle cap usually does not require medical treatment as it usually goes away on its own. In the meantime, wash your baby's hair once a day with mild baby shampoo. If the scaling is heavy, apply mineral oil to the scalp for a couple of hours before shampooing. Then wash the hair as usual and brush the scalp lightly with a soft brush to loosen the scale. If frequent shampooing does not help, talk with your baby's doctor about products that might help. Be sure the shampoo does not get in your baby's eyes as it may cause irritation. Do not use over-the-counter cortisone or antifungal creams without talking to your baby's doctor because some of these products can be toxic when absorbed through a baby's skin. Dandruff shampoos that contain salicylic acid are also not recommended because they can be absorbed through the skin. Lifestyle and Home Remedies The following over-the-counter treatments and home care tips can help you control and manage cradle cap. 1. Gently rub your baby's scalp with your fingers or a washcloth to loosen the scales. Do not scratch. 2. Wash your baby's hair once a day with mild baby shampoo. Loosen the scales with a small soft bristled brush or fine tooth comb before rinsing off the shampoo. 3. If the scales do not loosen easily, rub petroleum jelly or a few drops of mineral oil onto your baby's scalp. Let it soak into the scales for a few minutes or hours if needed. Then brush and shampoo your baby's hair as usual. If you leave the oil in your baby's hair, the cradle cap may get worse. 4. Once the scales are gone, wash your baby's hair every 2-3 to three days with a mild shampoo to prevent scale buildup. Coming up after the break, MTV's sports update and more. Stay with us. You know, since we find a Bataya future shop, me house look nicer than you one. <laughs> My credit rate, how you can afford to buy all them things? Let me tell you. Now I'm not going to catch again. I'm a secret. No, come now, man. I'm magic. You're too fast. Mind your business. <laughs> Excuse me, Uncle, tell me something. How credit can afford to buy so much thing from I only now walk no way? It's because now we introduce our new discount card. Apply oh. now for your discount card at Tayo Future Shop. Every time you shop using your discount card, your percentage increases. Start from 5% off. Your next purchase, 7% off. Then 10% off, etc. Until you start getting wholesale and factory price. Check in store for more details. Conditions apply. Let hey, me get me tired of this gum card. <laughs> Wait, man. What you gotta do next, man? Buy the whole entire store? With almost 20 years of experience at Gap Tours, Kamla can advise you on all your flat pack requirements. Let her show you her wide range of PVC ceilings in more than 10 colors and designs. Laminated bamboo and PVC floorings complete with accessories. Granite countertops cabinet doors, plywood and MDF board, moldings in a variety of designs, both wooden and plastic. For your roof, she has asphalt roofing shingles, tar felt, nails and drip edges, gypsum board, and she has plain and decorative cement board. For that attractive look, she has full brick panels, which will not crack or fade, nor peel. So let our expert Kamla advise you on all these products and more. And for your safety, don't forget Mexin Steel Security Doors with 8 security locks. Remember, for all your flat pack needs, see Kamla or call her on 225-6686 at Gaffoos, a name you can trust. Summer is just around the corner, and this year we're giving you a visa -cation. It's easy. Get your GBTI visa card and travel to your dream summer destinations or shop all you want online. With VisaCation, you get to win prizes when you use your GBTI Visa card between June 1st and August 31st. Don't have a Visa card? Visit your nearest GBTI branch or go to www.gbtibank.com. GBTI, we see Guyana through your eyes.
Secure your property, secure your life, get the best security service from us at KGM Security Services Incorporated. Highly trained armed and unarmed officers at affordable rates. We offer armed mobile patrols, personal security, cash escort, alarm monitoring, quick response units, also rental of executive vehicles with armed guards. 74 Axora Avenue, Bel Air Park, Georgetown. Contact us on 663-3227-699-0084 or 654-1800. KGM Security Services Incorporated, we are your source for security. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. 80% of the population around the world have a stomachal problem because the water is contaminated. Some of these stomachal problems are diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, filaria, avoid this sickness with the latest water purifier. Drink clean, fresh mineral water at all the time. Just put water from the pipe, the river or rainwater at the top of the water purifier and the system is going to remove all the impurities. Easy to use, easy to sample, no current, no batteries, purify more than 10,000 liters of water. Are you invited to that important event but don't know what to wear or frustrated you're wearing the same dress as everyone else? You crave for this exclusive look? Then do just that with dresses from Exclusive Dresses to Impress. Visit Exclusive Dresses to Impress at Giveland Mall. Contact number 6570166. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM Machinery, a Caterpillar brand. SKF bearings and mounted products. NAPA batteries. Tide power generators. Discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc. The best opportunity to make the right choice. Welcome to MTV's Sports Update. Guyana's wicketkeeper batsman Anthony Bramble has earned his median call up for the West Indies T20 series against India in the Caribbean. There is also the recall of the veteran duo of Sunil Narayan and Kieran Pollard. Wicketkeeper batsman Anthony Bramble is the newcomer in the 14-member squad selected for the first two T20Is in the series which will be contested on August 3 and 4 at the Broward County Stadium, Lauder Hill, Florida. The selection panel has the opportunity to make changes to the squad before the third T20I on August 6 at the Guyana National Stadium, Providence. The squad also includes Andre Russell, subject to him passing a fitness assessment prior to the series. He is set to return to the playing field following his early exit from the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2019 to undergo an operation on his troublesome left knee. Left-handed opener John Campbell and left-arm spinner Carrie Peer have also been included alongside a number of regulars led by Captain Carlos Brathwaite as the interim CWI selection panel seeks to explore options with the ICC T20 World Cup looming next year in Australia. 
Mystery spinner Narain last played in a T20I for West Indies against England almost two years ago at Chesterley Street and batting all-rounder Pollard appeared last November on the tour of India. Bramble has given firm proof of his batting and keeping ability in the West Indies Championship for reigning five-time champions Guyana Jaguars, who also reached the final of last year's West Indies Super 50 Cup. He captained West Indies B to the final of the Global T20 Tournament last year in Canada and was recently picked up in the CPL draft for the first time in three years and will play for his home-based Guyana Amazon Warriors team. As one of the most feared and fierce haters in the shortest version of the game, Russell will add further depth to the batting and Haynes expects him and the other senior members of the squad to play a big role in the series. Chelsea Lee reported from MTV Sports Update. Shubman Gill has admitted to being disappointed at not being selected for India's tour of the West Indies, saying he is expected to be there at least of one of the squads. India will play three T20s, three ODIs and two tests against West Indies with the first T20 on August 3. Gill, who is with India A squad in the Carbon, finished the one A series as a top run scorer with 218 in four matches, averaging 54.50 with a strike weight of 98.19. He hit the three half centuries and was named the man of the series. Gill had earned a call up to the India squad for the New Zealand tour earlier this year and played two to ODIs, although he did not get into double digits in either game. But while he did not make it to the squad, Gill was discussed at the selection meeting with Chief Selector MSK Prashad. Gill's next assignment is at 3-4 days in the Carbon with the first match starting on Wednesday in North Sound. The very first pick at the 2019 Hero Carbon Premier League draft was opening batsman Alex Hales, who will be playing for the Barbados Tridents. Hales says he's really looking forward to turning out at his EPL for the first time. Hale said being picked was incredible news, adding that considering this is his first tournament, he has heard the standard is very high and the atmosphere is brilliant and that it is a great opportunity for him and he is looking forward to it. When asked if playing in T20 tournaments around the world helps in terms of getting international recognition, Hales said the extremely high standard means that selectors have to take notice of performances in leagues like the CPL. Hales also says that playing in T20 leagues around the world helps with your game, especially to get you used to high-pressure situations and being an overseas player adding to the experience. The next big international assignment for the England team will be the T20 World Cup in Australia in late 2020. And Hales has said this as a target. Target. Hales says he is particularly looking forward to returning to the Caribbean, a place he says he loves to visit. It has been a tricky few years for the Tridents, having missed the playoffs for the last two seasons. Hales feels very positive about the squad the Tridents have put together for this year. He noted he believes they have a strong team which is well balanced and he thinks they stand a very good chance if they perform at the right time. Alex Hales will be playing for the Barbados Tridents at the Hero Caribbean Premier League. The tournament takes place from September 4 to October 12. Chelsea Lee reported from TV Sports Update. Head coach of Ghana's women's football team, Ivan Joseph, is pleased with the collective performance of his charges ending Group A, the undefeated, in the recently concluded CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Championship. Dubbed the Lady Jaguars, Guyana's under-20 women swept 2-0 victories over Bermuda, Antigua and Barbuda and St. Lucia before concluding Group A with a 3-1 win over Suriname on Sunday and qualifying for the CONCACAF Women's Under-20 Final Championship round of 16. The Lady Jags produced a historic performance, securing a total of 9 goals and conceding just 1. Head coach noted that for the next round of the competition, they will be searching for two centre-backs and a natural goal scorer. Looking ahead to preparations for the next round, Joseph revealed that there would be a fitness as well as strength and conditioning plans to get the players ready. Meanwhile, the two nations which have qualified from Group B are St. Kitts and Nevis and Grenada. The top two finishers of Group A and B advanced to the knockout stage of the final competition. Chelsea Lee reported from MTV Sports Update. Russian boxer Maxim Datashev has died at the age of 28 following injuries suffered in his IBF light welterweight fight against Sobel Mathias. Datashev was reportedly unable to walk to the dressing room after his bout was stopped by trainer Body Magrath at the end of the 11th round on Friday. He was hospitalized with bleeding on the brain and underwent emergency surgery but failed to recover. The Russian Boxing Federation say they have to open an investigation. Secretary General Umar Kamla suggested there was some kind of violation, adding in a statement, we lost Maxim Dashadev, he was a real prospect. 
U.S.-based Adas Judev had won all of his previous 13 fights, but had to absorb a barrage of punches from Puerto Rican Mathias during the course of the fight in Maryland. The Russian Boxing Federation said that after the fight, Adathadev's condition worsened and doctors diagnosed as cerebral edema. The 2019 edition of the annual Lusignan Golf Open Tournament saw commendable performances from men's champion Avinash Pursod and women's champion Christine Sukram last weekend. Prasad, the current Guyana Open male champion, won the men's A flight with 154 gross, while Sukram won the female segment with 171 gross. Prasad said while he's happy with the win, he was extremely confident heading into the tournament and his victory was no surprise. Prasad noted that the young players need to work harder at their game, adding that success comes after hard work. He disclosed that he wants to become one of the best players in the Caribbean, adding that the discipline is still not that popular in Guyana and they are lacking sponsors. Women's champion Christine Sukram was satisfied with her performance, noting that her victory boosted her confidence tremendously. President of the Lusignan Golf Club, Alim Hussein, disclosed they have approximately 24 tournaments scheduled until November. Chelsea Lee, Report of MTV's Porto Tate. More news after the break. Stay with us. Ready to ride away a winner on a brand new motorcycle? With Ultra Lubricants, Oil & Go, it's so easy. Purchase any Ultra Lubricants at an authorized dealer. Get your coupon, fill it out, drop it in the box, and you can be one of six lucky Ultra winners to ride off on a bike. And here's the secret tip. Get two chances to win when you purchase Ultra Power Max 4T. Ride away a winner. Oil & Go with Ultra Lubricants. Promotion runs from 1st of March to the 31st of August. Conditions apply. See press and Facebook for details. Ultra Lubricant, distributed by Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. and available nationwide. Welcome back. You're still at MTV's News Update. Now for some news in the region. Police in the Spanish capital, Madrid, are investigating the death on Sunday of Juan Carlos Marcos, a former executive at Venezuela's state-run oil company, PDVSA. Mr. Marcos, 48, had appeared in court on Friday over his alleged involvement in a money laundering scheme. While he denied the allegations of money laundering, he had reportedly agreed to collaborate with an investigation into corruption at PDVSA. He was due back in court on Monday. Police say Mr. Marcos had been found to hang in a flat on the outskirts of Madrid. Low profile to good connections, Mr. Marcus was an executive of PDVSA from 2003 to 2014 when the oil company was at the heart of Venezuela's economy. On the international scene, Boris Johnson has been elected a new conservative leader in a ballot of party members and will become the next UK Prime Minister. He beat Jeremy Hunt comfortably, winning 92,153 votes in his rivals 46,656. The former London mayor takes over from Theresa May on Wednesday. In his victory speech, Mr Johnson promised he would deliver Brexit unite the country and defeat Jeremy Corbyn. Speaking at Queen Elizabeth II Century in London, he said, we are going to energize the country. Mr. Johnson thanked his predecessor, saying it had been a privilege to serve in her cabinet. He was Mr. May's foreign secretary until resigning over Brexit. The outgoing PM, who is standing down after a revolt by Conservative MPs over her Brexit policy, congratulated her successor, promising him her full support from the backbenches. And that has brought us to the end of regional and international news. Now let's take a look at the Ghana Stock Exchange closing prices for trading session 835. Let's now turn our attention to the Demer Harbour Bridge and the Burbies River Bridge schedules. That's a wrap on today's broadcast. Before we go, here's a reminder of our top stories. 
Coin voters list can be updated and used for free and fair elections, says Chief Elections Officer. Chief Elections Officer says the current voters list load is as claimed by the government. Chief Justice reaffirms general elections must be held by September 18. Chicken price increases as shortage hits local market. Ghana wicketkeeper batsman Anthony Bramble gets a major West Indies call up for the 20 home series against India. Qatari broadcasts at 23 hours today and at 6 hours 30 tomorrow. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I'm Sandy Ramutar. Have a good night.